What do we got? I had to disinfect my, my damage. I had to clean my wounds. So. So should we tell them how I did that or just get no, that? No, I don't think you really want to know. Yeah, I, I used my clean gauze right here. There you go. And I used some solvent. That would be clean, greasy, right? Uh, clean. And then I wiped it off my really clean towel over here like this. Yeah. And now it's nice and clean. I think I'm, yeah. Good okay. to go. We're all set. Hmm. And suck on it a little bit to put some you more germs suck on, on it. To, oh, I guess I got some extra skin on there. There. See, it's better now. All right. I you feel better. Now. Hey. Yes, we were sucking on we something. We don't need any peanut gallery shit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need something from the. We don't need something from the peanut gallery there. Hey, if you're not working, we don't need to hear from you. Yes, sir. Fred, what's that? That would be the. Uh, that looks like a lot of um, residue. Residue. Raptors. Call it right. residue. Re residue. That's stuff we don't really want to see next to a bearing. Isn't it? Is that a cage bearing or? Oh, I bearing. think it's a sealed bearing there. No, that's a roller bearing. It's wide open. Is it? Oh, oh yeah. so they didn't upgrade to a sealed bearing, even though they put well, in. It doesn't an open, look like they did. No. Well, even I have they to blow put it off open to bear, open belt. Okay, where's my tool that we had out? Oh, right over here. And pull that. You're going to finger, this finger, make sure that's going to I've already got my finger, Fred. Oh, some more stuff. Hey, I think we found the problem. It's in there? Um, <laughs> we may have found the missing uh, component. I don't see the screw in there, but there's a lot of other stuff in here. That's... Well, big chunks of magnet. No, I think that's part of the stator. Oh, that's not good. Why, do you think the stator's bad? Let's see. Let's put some light on this subject. Wow, that looks really... Oh, there's a big piece missing. There's a big... Oh, yes, something happened and the entire stator has well, been, been destroyed. What, is that bad, too? I wonder why the guy couldn't get his battery to recharge. Is this bad? So, a little explanation. This thing right here, which they call it a stator because it stays still. What do they call this? Well, they call it a mess, but... They call it a pile of junk, what you call it. Look at... Look at what's this? Yeah, you keep taking a light... Oh, there's actually is a plastic thing in there. I just can't see it behind all the goo. Okay, it appears that that part's still good. Why does this thing keep shutting Why don't you just push the button? I did. Okay. It's cutting off. So you, you know it's to build up in the bottom here. So everything we're looking at is supposed to create you think, alternating current. Do you think the customer's going to blame me for any of this? Alternating current, electricity, to recharge the battery. It so still it might. To, it actually still might work. Spins around these magnets, which seem to be destroyed by whatever. No, I, the magnets are still there. I bet you it still does work. It's just not. We might not be putting out 32 amps right now. Like what, what? 14 and a half? Maybe. Well, yeah, it's been that way for a while. You can see the goo in there? That's, that was some heavy buildup. Are you going to blow that off? What do you think about this? Will you take some of these chunks out? What do you think? I'm thinking you need another uh, rotor. Well, there's some magnets left over. And we can use that to, you know, hang pictures of the kids and the babies and the dogs and the cats <laughs> on the refrigerator. Because <laughs> that's about all it's worth is refrigerator magnets, you know? I, I think it's just... I think it's got some cosmetic issues. No. Look at this. Holy moly. That's an extra one. I don't need that one. What's that? You don't think that magnet's going to not pick up and create? I'm trying to figure out what that piece is right there. Well, let me back up, guys, so we can see. Oh, no, you got to see. Oh, that was nice. Nice. That's not part of the magnet. That's just goo in there. Okay. Well, you keep turning away, but... You found some more pieces there, I just took those out. Well, I'm trying to separate the, the mangoes from the good part. You know, it's, it's hard to tell the good part from the bad part, because it looks the same. Okay, we don't need that one anymore. Hey, there's our, hang our picture of the kids, dog, cat, and small furry <laughs> okay, We're, we're just though. taking a couple of minor parts that we don't need anymore. You're not going to put this thing back in there. I know you got one of these things laying around. No, I am putting this thing back together. Seriously? Yes. 
It's going to be fine, I'm telling you. It's going to be okay, Buckwheat. Okay? Okay! We're going to do okay! This thing's going to be running in another hour. You're missing about a third of the damn... Those are extra parts you don't need. You do magic tricks. Hey, let's do it for us, Gino. Show us some magic tricks. Draw the draw the man on the picture, you know. <laughs> this is just extra stuff that's not needed. Come on, what do you need 32 amps for? What's on this bike that you need? It, it doesn't take that much power. You know, 10 See, amps is plenty. I did not believe yeah. the mysterious rocks in Mojave Desert. Oh yes, they're moving around. around. <laughs> that's about all they're used for now. Yeah, that was 15. I've had to pay to get that. Don't what about the one where they had the guy with the bald head and then you put the magnet things in and you took the stick? Look like Fred, then. Make it look like me. So you think this is bad, huh? I don't know, man. You know, if I was at the racetrack, this would all be back right back in there. I get that, but why are you even messing with this? you got probably a dozen of these damn things laying around. No, this is... No, I don't. I think i got a lot of stuff here. I don't have all the stuff. Okay. But why are we taking yeah. all these boogers out of here? And because they're going to put it right back in the bike, that's why. We have a couple extra parts here we need to blow off. What did you do my airline? It's right there. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be like that. How can it be like me when about a third of the whole damn thing is sitting on the... It's only going to make 16 volts. I mean, there's still, you know, well, you know, funny enough, they're not still putting the power. that's magnetic, magnetically connected to the magnets doesn't really work. If it had been a chain with oil, we wouldn't be having this conversation. That's right, I'm perfect. It appears to have some broken material in some places not supposed to be. So. I thought we had that. We started the conversation off with saying that. I need a screwdriver. Okay. That's not the card reader. You want me to shut this off now while you're still messing around with that? I don't care. You can watch me clean this if you want. Thank you. Goodbye. Play with the magnets. Okay, we're going to put this back together. I got all this cleaned up in here. I moved up all the segments here that were on top of the copper, but it's still shorted. So I put the ohmmeter between here and ground, and it goes to ground. So this isn't going to work, most likely. But we'll find out. So we'll plug that in for now. So this here, I cleaned all the crap out of here. So all the loose stuff is gone. It's pretty chewed up, but it's gone. But yeah, the dirt and stuff. Blew out the magnet back here. I mean the bearing. So it's all cleaned up. Here you go. So oh, this ain't gonna work anyway. Look at it. There's no splines in it. All right, so that's not going to really, probably not work anyway, but whatever. We'll see. All right, that so. That never has splines in it. It did, it's all it gone. chewed up? They're gone, yeah. 
Okay, we got this nut, so it's going to work here now. So, I'm going to make sure this goes on here. Appears to go on here pretty good. You got all the uh, stuff cleaned off the threads? Yeah. Put in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put some red Loctite on this nut. Put a little bit of red on that. application for this one. It's a gap filler. It's not going to fill very many gaps, but... It's going to do something. I'm going to put a little red sleeve on that too. What the hell? <laughs> this is going to tighten up in the wrong direction because under load it's going to go... Oh, which way is it going to go? No, that's the correct direction. It'll have reverse rotation, so it'll be pulled in tight. So when I tighten this nut down, it's going to pull it this direction, which would be the direction the motor's going to be yanking. So it'll shove it all against the one side of the spline. That's why I want to get the sleeve retainer to help hold it. It'll also fill in some of the voids. Okay, so we got our pulley over here. Clutch is all cleaned. Here's our brand new belt we're going to use. I'm going to put it in backwards because I think that's the better way of going. Low road clearance belt. Alright, I think I'm in. Need some light. Actually, where's my light? I had a flashlight once. There it is. Oh yeah, they're on there. See the gaps in there? Plenty good. Looking nice and snug. Perfect. I'm sure to rotate nice and smooth also. We're going to put a little bit of this in here just for the hell of it. The only thing holding this together is going to be torque and Loctite. Everything else is pretty well done at this point. Okay, go. <clears throat> Probably about, eh, I'm guessing 350, 400 foot pounds there. Built nice and snug. Pretty tight, isn't it? Guitar string. So now I got all kinds of clearance back here. Won't rub now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this is going to track in or out. <laughs> If it tracks out, it's going to be on our edge. If it tracks in, we're golden. It'll be one or the other. Okay, so now we got to put the clutch back together. I'm not sure how many plates we lost. Is it all the plates? Oh. 
That's nice. I guess it does matter how that goes on. Yep. Have to find the right spot. We don't want this to fall out, so we're going to put a little something on here. Even though this is only temporary. Jeez, those threads feel like crap. Must not be the ones that are being used. Got the right powder? Yep. Belt. That's not supposed to be that tight, is it? They're not adjustable. Whatever they are is what they are. Sometimes they're really, really tight, other times they're literally, really loose. Nothing you can do about it. My guess is this pulley doesn't go straight. It's probably going to wobble pretty good, I bet. I can't see it, so I don't know. Okay, so that's all back on. So if we take the squirt plugs out. Two plugs out, I'm gonna need a ratchet for that. Is that wobble any? Good for at least a uh, you know, hundred miles, hundred feet. Which one comes first? <laughs> How long that belt? Which one last? Would a belt last? That being that narrow? I've seen them uh, come out of like that then before. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them come out like that. They're worn that far. Yeah. Don't know how long they've been that way, but obviously it took a while to get them so, in that one. So in, in open dry primaries like this, they, the belt the trails back and forth, it's going to just keep wearing and wearing. Well, it's supposed to track to the outside, but it, it goes wherever it wants to go. Now, obviously, with this thing being wobbling like this, we don't know where it's going to go to, but it'll, it'll do what it wants to.
bunch of weak ass parts. <laughs> Wonderful. She's too made, you can't even torque it. I don't think there's any winning with this bike. Even when you're trying to flip it and shove it back together, you still fight with the damn thing. It's stupid. But I'll leave it. See how long it lasts like that. It'll tighten up on you though. Faster. Took all my free play out. Yeah, well, we'll take it out here at the clutch cable. Screw it. I ain't giving up just yet. One thing about this project, it's not like we can hurt anything. As long as we don't fall down, you ain't gonna hurt it because it's already junk. Everything in here is wadded up already, so it doesn't really matter. There was no gasket? No. Hold it back. Kinds of screws here, short ones and long ones. All right, well, we'll be back after we get this done. We're just going to bolt it all together and see what happens. Okay, we got it all back together. So we're going to start it up, see if it runs, see if it goes. Do another road test. Clanking. Clank, clank, clank. Was it clanking before? Well, yeah, now that now that you know the difference now. You hear That's the, all tight. You hear the difference now. Now it's not clattering around. It's... All right. Well, I didn't do any burnouts, but it 
went through the gears pretty good and it definitely pulls when you shift it. Let alone with three quarters of an inch of belt. Looks fine. I don't feel any vibration more than normal rigid frame bouncing all over the place. Yeah. Only about five cops I caught past. <laughs> 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 all right, well, it's, it's runnable, but it's uh, questionable at best. The clutch is still working, but the screw broke, so who knows how long it'll stay adjusted. Yeah. It's not really drivable for that reason. Otherwise, the belt, yeah, it's runnable. And there's no charging system, so you don't need all them fancy parts. So there you go. That's a quick backyard fix. Got to get you so you can get down the road, get back home, wherever you got to go to. So it'll probably live quite a while, just the way it is, I bet. But anyway, we'll be taking apart the fix, and I'm sure. So there you go.